everyone welcome back to BPO interview tutorials and today we came up with the continuation of, of the topic of statistics in the Lean Six Sigma and we have already gone through the videos related to what is statistics what is mean mode median how we can use in our Lean Six Sigma project today we came up with another concept on the same topic that is variance so before moving to this topic we will explain you this variance in two ways one with the using of formula or function in the excel another we will do this various calculation uh, basically with the help of mathematical steps so these are the two ways we will we will going to explain in this current video so guys do check our playlist do check our uh, page you will find all the videos related to six sigma certification excel quality analyst all call center and bpo related videos trainer people management almost 100 plus videos are there so let's start with the today's concept that is how to calculate variance the first and the easiest way that is using of the function that is var here you can find multiple var.p vrds vara varpa varp many functions are there which are equivalent to the uh, variance so to know this we will understand few few basic information here that is var is the basic function guys to calculate the variance if you directly calculate with the help of var it will get calculated directly will get the variance details but in many of the advanced versions of excel they will use different uh, excel different form functions there if we are using var.s it basically used for this small sample size and if you are using for var.p it will be used for the uh, large number of population and this both are basically used with the numerical values if we want to use with the logical or the textual information we will use VARA for the small sample and VARP for the bigger population so here first what we will calculate we will calculate here variance to calculate variance I will directly use the VAR formula I'll open the bracket I'll select all my data set whatever I have I'll collect uh, select it as in bracket close I'll just do some uh, add some more decimal number and I'm getting values that is 0 0.8 now this is the easiest way to do with the help of excel function how we can do this manually to learn this these are the steps guys you can see here these are the steps now let's start the steps one by one first they are telling us to calculate the mean so I'm removing this okay okay now I'll calculate mean mean which means average if you don't know how to do this check out our last videos you will get to know so I took the average I got 90.02 as my number now what is the second point they are telling subtract the mean with all the data set individually so I will add one more data here that is new data set new data set I will add here and uh, what I will do I will just increase the width now I will subtract this with the mean then now I need to do it for all the values what I will do the subtraction value which is F16 E16 before E and 16 I will add one dollar sign which means this E system will remains constant and automatically it will do subtraction for all the rest of the values then post doing this what what is the third step I need to square the new data set so I need to square the new data set I will here square new data set how we need to square it equal to this into same so I need to do 10 into 10 only so into same data set I need to multiply the data set with the same data set I'll get few values here yes I got few values here now what he's telling I need to sum it okay I'm doing it sum sum and uh, select all the five the new data set which are squared okay I got this value now it is asking me divide it with the count of data set how many count I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 data set I have. Now I need to do divide with 6. I will get some value that is equivalent to 0 0.6. Correct. Now I will use this uh, function here. Basic function where sample. Okay. Okay. I got my solution here okay sorry I'll use var.p for the population okay done okay 0 
yes i got 0 0.6 here this is just the average i need to calculate mean here var p for this population oh uh, bracket close yes it's matching 0 0.6 and the manually what we have done the calculation this is also matching so i hope you got the clear understanding here how to calculate the variance the basic formula you can use var.p var.s var as well but var is basically depicted guys which is the old formula don't use that it will not work and if you want to do this manually you can use this below step first you need to do average average then the value which you got here you need to subtract it with the all the data set now you need to square the same value <coughs> so it's 10 into 10 i'll do 7 into 7 i'll do 5 into 5 i'll do i'll square it with the same value i'll do the sum then i'll divide it with the number of data set i have six data set i'll get my value there so this is all about the variance guys do check out our playlist you will get videos more videos related to all our topics and crack your interview very easily thanks a lot guys thanks for watching have a great day